Hey everyone, it's Tango Oscar Mike. I'm going to be testing that new one-to-one -one ballon I made from QRP guys on my link dipole today. But first, yard work. Okay, we got the yard work done. So now uh, let's take a look. This is the uh, this is the one to one QRP guys ballon that I built. Um, looks looks good, and I've got it on uh, some soda beams wire with my wind, winders and my link dipole. So I'm going to set this up and give it a try. Uh, I have my soda beams mast. This is the compact travel mast. It's about 27 inches long. Uh, it weighs just over two and a half pounds, like two pounds, nine ounces, something like that. So it's not bad. Uh, since it's 10 meters or about 32 feet long, the top two sections were really thin, like uh, very thin, very flexible. So I removed those top two sections. So mine's about, what, 28 feet long now? And I'm actually tempted to remove another section because I don't use it, um, but I'm gonna leave it in there for now. I've got my guy line kit. I've got my uh, stakes in the bag. So let's sit up the mast, get the antenna going, and then we'll see what happens. So I got the antenna up, uh, pitched pretty good. It's probably, uh, since the antenna, since the tower, since the mast is bending over a little bit, it's probably 20 feet or so, maybe a little more. I have the antenna set for, oh, I forgot to disconnect one of the uh, links. So right now it's set for 20 on one side and 40 on the other. So hang on while I fix that. The easiest way to fix that once you have it up on the mast is to just drop the mast. You can lower sections, but I found it's just easier to do that. Disconnect. Disconnect. And then stand it back up. Okay, it's back up, about the same position, that's good. So, frequency 14285, mass WR is uh, 1.5, I'm just going to sweep the band and see what it looks like, and it looks like It's resident at a lower frequency. It's resident down in the CW band, uh, like actually, yeah, FT8 CW area, uh, like 14066 seems to be the lowest SWR. And it's 1.34 there, but that's the lowest. So it really doesn't change that much. So I'm not that worried about it. So I think I'm gonna get my radio out, my KX2, hook it up and see if there's any POTA stations on 20. If not, I'll drop it, set it for 40, check this, check this, the blah, check the SWR, and then try to make a contact on 40. So let's do that. Let's get the KX2. Okay, change of plans. I checked this POTA spots. I pulled up POTA spots, and I see that uh, Mike K8 MRD or K Murder is on. So I quickly dropped the mast, changed it over to 40 meters. My SWR is 1.17 uh, to 1. So I'm gonna try this, see if I can't hear him. Hopefully he's still there. Kilo Charlie three, Tango Oscar Mike. Uh, 
I don't think you can hear me. We'll try. Kilo Charlie 3, Tango Oscar Mike. Kilo Charlie 3, Tango Oscar Mike. Yeah, I just don't think the band's going to cooperate. I've worked Mike before. Um, so let's see who else is on. Kilo, Charlie 3, Tango, Oscar, Mike. Kilo, Charlie 3, Tango, Oscar, Mike. Kilo, Charlie 3, Tom, thank you for the contact. You are 5757, over. QSL, you're also a 57 into Pennsylvania. Thanks for the contact. Thanks for the Pennsylvania contact. Thanks for the choice of Have a good weekend, 73. Kilo, Kilo, Charlie 3, Tango, Oscar, Mike. Uh, you're 5 9 into Pennsylvania. Thanks for the contact. Thanks for the 5 9 NPA NA1KW. Keywords Kilo Charlie 3, Tango Oscar Mike. Kilo Charlie 3, Tango Oscar Mike. Tom, you've got a great 5 9 signal in the car in the park, Kilo 3815. Uh, QSL, QSL, I have you at about a 5 6, 5 6 into Pennsylvania. Thank you for the 5 6 in Pennsylvania. Please stand by for the other operator. Uh, QSL, QSL, also give you a 5656 five, into Pennsylvania. Thanks for the contact. Thank you, Tom, and hello in Pennsylvania. 73 to the next time. 73. Kilo, Charlie 3, Tango, Oscar, Mike. Hi, Tom. How are you doing today? Uh, good. How are you doing? I'm great. You're 5'7", Tom. The band's a little quiet today. I'm not sure why. Mike out, out in uh, Michigan is having a blast. We're out on the East Coast. It's not working so great. Yeah, I can't hear Mike uh, very well either. Uh, I, could, I can't make contact with him. I can hear him in the background, but I just can't pull him out. Uh, I got you at about a 5.5, five, 5.5 five, five, five here into Pennsylvania. I'm actually in the backyard testing a uh, uh, a one-to-one -one ballon I built with my linked dipole. Excellent. Well, it's working. You're about a, between S5 and S7 here. I know you're in Pennsylvania. Uh, what part of Pennsylvania are you? I'm in the uh, southwest uh, portion of Pennsylvania down there by uh, West Virginia. Okay, got it. That's a little more distance. Yep, good enough. Well, you sound great, Tom. It's making the trip for you. Okay, thanks for the contact. Have a great day. Uh, 73. The the one-to-one -one ballon is working great. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, where's the chair? It's it's in my backpack. I, I just didn't think I was going to be out here that long, so I didn't set up the chair. And I just cut the grass, so it's nice and short and comfortable. So we're just sitting here. Well, I think that's good for now. Uh, I've shown that it works, the one-to-one uh, -one ballon. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to take this out on my next outing, probably take the mast and just set it up. Uh, it depends on where I go. I might not need the mast. But the kit was very simple to put together. The hardest part of that kit, again, was winding the, the toroid with the three separate wires. Um, but if you do it one at a time as you go, uh, it worked out pretty well. So if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. This is Tango Oscar Mike, 73. Tango Oscar take care. Mike.